All right, all right, all right. Your boy Sosa back in the building. What's going on, everybody? We're not going to get into no hesitation. We're going right into it. So, let's start here. Ethereum Meta. Up 716%, huh? 0 0.0001. It looks beautiful. But what's really going on? I'll explain. So, first and foremost, notice the market cap. Now, me personally, I have almost $4 million worth of Ethereum Meta by coin market caps understanding now why is that well one that four million is half it is eight and there's people with much more ethereum meta than me so they could never pay everybody out of this market cap so i'm hearing people say oh it's a scam it's a scam pretty sure coin market cap would have said that this is a scam you have to understand what's being said with the trading pairs that the values change that also plays a key role in what's going on but this is what people are overlooking the fully diluted market cap well let's read and let's see what that is the market cap if the max supply was in circulation price times max supply if max supply is no price times total supply so what you have in here is from what i see more of a default than a glitch with coin market cap trust wallet and coinbase wallet because it also shows um the value of your tokens according to the fully diluted market cap and not the actual market cap as it stands but as you see the coin market cap team has not verified the project's market cap however according to the project is self-reported cap is what 50 billion something like that ethereum meta with the self-reported market cap of 8 million so with that being said how do we turn this into anything if possible how do we do this and how do i know that this is what's going on so let me show you okay we are in my coinbase wallet right Ethereum Meta, and you see my first transactions. I sent to my Coinbase wallet 100 million. That at the fully diluted market market cap value is worth 31,000 now. It was only worth 19 at first. Then I sent a billion and some change, a billion, 100 million. That's worth 345. Hundred thousand. Now, I took half of that. Uh, basically, five hundred and thirty-six million, which comes out to um one hundred and sixty-eight thousand. Now, so if you notice, it went to an address that isn't my address it doesn't look familiar if i go to show the wallet address the wallet address is ox414 so what is this oxe66 let's see let's go to etherscan so this is where the magic happens. <clears throat> my 
my wallet address, the contract, zero ex proxy, where it ended up, supposedly, right? So it was a transfer for 0 0.004 ether from wrap ether to exchange proxy exchange proxy to zero proxy zero proxy back to my wallet but at the price of 0 0.004 and not the actual price that I was selling it for because when you see here the transaction action is 536 million ether meta for this much ether so people are seeing this happen and that's because within this exchange which was coinbase wallet it shows you the amount up until the point that it actually goes through the filtering of the blockchain wrapped ether exchange proxy zero x proxy and back to you so while it looked like i didn't receive anything it never dawned on me that this is so much of a increment of ether that this went back to my wallet but it was so little i didn't even notice it it's probably pennies i'd have to look it up so now where i do get a little lost i will admit is right in here the tokens transferred from my wallet to this for this five million seventeen hundred so the cash value is there my wallet to zero epoxy 536 million four hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars uniswap to exchange proxy for 0 0.004 wrapped ether 0x proxy to uniswap for 536 million coins at the price of 168,000. So this is where I'm getting a little lost at. Well, I'm seeing big numbers over here. Why isn't that popping up on my end? Why is it that get lost on my end? But then on Uniswap's end, that shit looks good. On Zero X Proxy's end, that shit looks good. This is a big deal for me right here. From me to Zero X Proxy for this equals this well when does this shit come back to me so now you get a little bit of understanding of what's going on here you're having places like this places like trust wallet places like obviously coinbase wallet showing up big numbers up until it's time to sell then it's converting the price for the fully diluted market cap for the price at the actual market cap which is why when you go on places like coin gecko they going by the actual market cap which it hasn't moved up a percent but does that mean that um that in itself i don't typically believe it's just an outright scam i i don't see anything that shows that um it would be nice to have an audit on ethereum meta i don't think the team is um really involved yeah they put up a tweets but i read some stuff where they were like missing in action for a year and then they came back with no explanation um the roadmap is kind of redundant is the same shit over and over but does that mean that you can't cash out well i know people have cashed out and when you go to where is it i don't even know if i had shit up anymore 
Let me just put it in. And you go to Quick Swap. Now, at first, I was able to put my Ethereum Meta. USDC and let's just say 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million. Let's see if it'll pop up anything. Because at first, well, what happened here? Well, one, it would show me a price instead of this. But, um, this will come out to about 9700 right now it's not showing a price but if it did it will probably show you a price of um somewhere around 50 60 bucks like nothing so all these exchanges are shutting it down uh another thing that happened MetaMask, let's go to Ethereum. Now, this says $9.42, right? So that's $564 million. That's $9.42. So they sent me a letter here. Um, MetaMask and they said hey um, right now we can't show you your funds you know we, we're showing you know I know it's showing nine dollars and forty two but don't worry your money is safe here's uh, the record of it so what MetaMask is doing they like nah we're going by the actual market cap we might we're not going by that, that diluted shit but then you go to East Plur and you see that same transaction. This is where MetaMask sent me to. That same transaction is worth $102,000. And it shows all these transactions for $98,000, $3,000, all of this stuff, right? So it's saying that MetaMask recognizes, hey, yeah, your money's there. But that's under the diluted. We're not going by the diluted. <clears throat> So, now, how do we cash out? Well, this is where, of course, I had problems. Because if I knew how to do that, I'd be the hell up out of where I'm at. But I'm not. I need your help to help me figure this out. So, let's go here. XYZ trade actually this one here we go okay so a billion is 158 AVAX I already did the math 158 AVAX converted to USD is around 16,000 so if I have 10 billion Ethereum Meta, then what this turns into is around 168,000. Now, that's for 10 billion. Now, if you was able to get this to go through once, <coughs> excuse me, now you, now you found a glitch because you can easily just go back and just go get some more and then do this process over again. So that's where I need to help. It comes with the Avalanche C chain. So 
See the avalanche seed chain for Ethereum Meta. Pop it in, get the Ethereum Meta to pop up. But when I connect my wallet, it shows zero. It says I don't have enough Ethereum Meta because the wallets they allow you to connect is Wallet Connect, which is based off of, um, for me, my trust wallet. Which doesn't, which isn't using the Avalanche C chain, Coinbase wallet, which also is not using the Avalanche C chain, and then my MetaMask wallet, <clears throat> which is not using the fully diluted cap, is using the actual market cap. So what we need to figure out here, people, is we need to figure out how can we get our coins to pop up to where they show up on the avalanche c chain in in one of our wallets and then we'll be able to see the amount that we actually own of ethereum meta and then go ahead and go through with the swapping for avax or maybe there's another coin where you can get more out of it. I'm not sure, but just because we can see that this works. And this is probably if we're going to cash out, which I pray we're able to, this is probably going to be the last route, because like I said, you can't cash out on on quick swap anymore because now they're giving you the actual uh, market cap value and not the fully diluted value like Trader Joe's is. So. We need to get it to where we can go ahead, like I said, find a way to get our coins onto an Avalanche wallet that can connect with Trader Joe's so we can get it for AVAX, swap that, and then swap that AVAX for USD. Keep doing that over until we ball out. Go back, get some more, and do it again and run this bag up. That's that's the, like the only way we're really going to be able to do this. So, um... Please, if you like the video, of course, like and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that notification so you know when I'm dropping new content. Um, and leave comments and descriptions and let's work the problem. Let's see if we can figure it out and get this back. You know what I'm talking about? Let's see what we can do, man. So, yeah, that's all I got for you this time around. Um, let me know, man. I hope to hear some good news from y'all. I hope somebody figures out how we can get our coins to pop up, uh, in Trader Joe's, you know, off of the Avalanche C chain. So yeah, man, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hit y'all on the next round. Peace.